And what you want to do is hold on to your chain and try to mimic the angle exactly. Cutting away from you with your file until you see that edge is cleaned up. And then you're going to skip this tooth that's facing away from you and go to the next one that's facing to you. And this chain's in pretty good shape. I keep it that way. And you just mimic that angle. Need to make sure your chain isn't terribly loose. Something's about right. You know, you just move on and on and on, touching up like that. I'd say every couple tanks of gas, you need to do that. Now, you're going to wear down your cutting teeth, but your rakers aren't going to wear down. So they need filed down. And for that, you can buy a little kit that has a special guide in it. It sits right down on the tooth. And you file your rakers down. I don't use the guide. I just get in there and touch up my rakers every so often. And that's a well-worn chain, by the way. I've probably cut uh, six or eight cords of wood with that. From softwoods to oak and hickory. But I don't hit rocks. Uh or steel unless there's a piece grown into the wood and hopefully out in the woods you're not going to get in a fence row you never know but out in the woods you shouldn't have that trouble uh, as long as you keep up with it you can you can keep that that saw chain sharp until you have to throw it away and wore out if you hit a rock you hit steel you really roll the edges off on the cutting teeth Unless you go buy a grinder that's specifically made, you're going to file your butt off. And then who knows what you'll end up with. There are guides available, relatively inexpensive, that will help you out. This not only helps you determine your angle with these predetermined numbers here, you line those up with your, your uh, guide bar, but it keeps the depth of your file correct on your cutting tooth. It's easy to get your file too far down in that tooth and not sharpen it correctly. This guide, and there's many types like it, from $10 to $100, just depending on how intense you want to get, how close you are to a an outdoor store that will sharpen your chains uh, a sharpening is probably five dollars ten dollars and a new chain is going to be twenty to fifty depending or more depending on what you got now this is just a small saw but you have to maintain the chain while you're out cutting your firewood so you need to do a little hands on with it or you're going to be buying six or eight chains to cut a couple cords of wood. Thanks much, and we'll have more later. Come back and see us.